Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about sketches and line, and I'm going to present to you a small application that's going to change your life. Hey guys, this is David for Paintable, and I want to start this video by asking you a question. Have you ever did Ctrl Z a million times trying to do a smooth line? Yeah, me too. And that's why I want to do that, uh, this video today. I want to show you a few tricks uh, to actually do smooth lines, to do outlines, uh, basically to do like final sketches. What you have in front of you is the sketches of mine. It's what I would call a, uh, it's, it's a sketch, but it's not a final sketch. The lines are not really like perfectly. Uh, but I want to show you some tricks to do perfect outline or let's say at least more precise outline because there's a lot of benefit when it comes to do outline on illustration. Uh, if you do cartoons for, uh, for an example, well, your lines will be apparent at the end. So it's very good to have good outlines for that. And also precise outline will just help you when you come to time to put colors on illustration. Uh, it's going to be more precise and you'll know exactly where to do, where, what to do and where to go with your colors. And so today I'm going to give you three tips. And the first tip is going to be to have a good brush. So just having a brush with a little bit of uh, shape dynamic is going to make a huge difference. It's going to make sure that uh, your point of your brush, when you play with the pressure sensitivity of your pen, uh, will go small and big depending on the pressure that you put. And that's going to make a huge difference uh, in terms of line. They're going to look a little bit more organic. They're going to look like you're using a real pen. So that's really important for that. I'm not going to go in details into the brush settings. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link you a uh, video that I've previously done about brushes. You can click on it. It's going to be on that link. You can click on this and see all about brushes. I explain everything in details. Uh, I'm going to move forward to the second tip. And the second tip is use layers. It's important to take advantage that the fact that we are uh, actually working with layers, we are working digitally, uh, and therefore using a lot of layers uh, is not a problem. Um, especially when you do a really, really small, uh, small gesture that actually are difficult to do and are easier to do in a quick uh, gesture. I'm going to give you an example here with uh, the hair uh, here. I'm just going to create a layer. And basically she has a really um, small lines like this all over. And what's going to happen at some point is this. Uh, two lines are going to go on top of each other and that can be really annoying. Then you have to go back on it and you have to delete them. And sometimes, oops, you go too far, you go too. So what I like to do at this point is uh, sometimes, from time to time, not all the time because it could take a lot of time to do that for all the illustration. I can simply use another layer. So I create a new layer and then I do my line with a simple gesture like this. And I'm able to delete the part that I don't want to because it is on a separate layer and it's not going to delete the previous line that I did. And then I can merge the two of them by doing uh, just by selecting the both layers and do command E uh, and therefore they're all on one layer. And then I continue, I can create a new layer and then I make a new line, delete the part that I don't want to and merge them. Obviously this technique is going to take a lot of time, but sometimes it is the best technique to do uh, for some small part, like uh, let's say the buckle of her, uh, of her scarf on her head. Uh, I would probably do that at some point. I would just have one line and create another layer maybe, and then just have the other line with a very big gesture. And then I can just go back and delete the lines that I don't want to and merge everything down. So that was basically the technique that I was doing uh, for all those years when I really wanted to do outline. If I had a problem with a line, I was just creating a new layer, doing a quick gesture, and then just deleting the layer before merging them. But recently, I discovered a much better trick, uh, and that's going to be the third trick. The third trick is a small application that you can add on your computer that's going to be compatible with Photoshop, but also with any other application that you can have on your computer. And it's a small application that helps you doing smooth lines. Basically, you don't have to do a quick gesture anymore with this. You can do a very, very slow line and it's still going to be beautiful and precise. So here I have it installed right here. Uh, once you have installed it, usually the icon is going to show right here on the top of your menu. Uh, for me, the icon seems to have a problem, but the, uh, the uh, plugin works perfectly for me. And then you'll have all the menu here that you can change. Obviously, all those a little menu will change the way your uh, 
your pen interact with the line that you're drawing. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to show you uh, what I can do with it. So I'm going to go here on my illustration. And basically the difference is this. Now that I have the A stylus, I can take my time and draw a really slow line, which will be perfect. The difference is if I were to do the same thing with my brush, you can see that as soon as I move a little bit, it's going to make all those little squibbly line. But if I have the A stylus on, then I can take all my time. It's no problem. And here I'm using a hotkey to activate the plugin and to close it. So what I can do is just show you a little bit more by uh, doing the outline of this illustration here. So when it comes to the hair, I can take my time to do all the buckle of the hair. It's very, very good. Uh, I know that there's something for a PC that was already on the market for years, but this is the first one that I know of for Mac. Uh, this one doesn't work for PC, but uh, I will give you uh, the link uh, in the comment below for the uh, PC equivalent so you can have a look at it. So as you can see now, all my lines can be really easily smooth. And that's going to be really, really practical, especially for like big things like the glasses here. Like to do this shape, if I didn't have the, the A stylus, you see that it's all squiggly. But as soon as I'm going to put the A stylus, then I can take my time and just draw it. And it's going to be perfect each time. So that's the best trick that I have so far. I really, really like it. It's, it's working super well. And for 15 bucks, it's saving me a lot of pain and frustration. So here you have it, guys. If you are interested in buying the A Stylus, I'm going to put a link below this video so you can actually go buy it. I'm telling you, I bought it for myself and I'm really, really happy with it. And I'll put you as well a link for the Lazy Nezumi, which is actually the version for PC. So if you have a PC, you can click on that link and uh, you'll be able to purchase this one for yourself as well. And if you are interested to save 30% off a stylus, you can also click the link below this video and join the Academy where we have an exclusive 30% off for every student. And that's it for this tutorial, guys. Don't forget to like, share, or comment below this video. And if you really want to take your digital painting to the next level, come check out the Academy, where we offer in-depth tutorial, step-by-step -step lessons, exercises, live workshops, premium resources, and a world-class community of inspired digital painting like yourself, ready to help you and support whenever you need it. You just have to click on the link below this video or on the button to find more. And until next time, happy painting.